Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my health and fitness content, y'all have been loving. And I am loving being like a go-to fitness person. Never in a million years would I have thought, but here I am, because I know how to do it. So a lot of you guys have been asking me questions and I so apologize because in the last couple months, I've gotten so bad about responding to YouTube comments. I'm in over my head with things right now before this wedding. So as soon as this wedding is over, you have my word that I will go back to responding to all of your comments. So I do want to be sure that I answer your questions. So this will be easier for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, there are several questions that have been asked multiple times. So I kind of weeded through like my videos, Instagram comments, and I picked those questions that keep getting asked over and over. And today, I'm gonna answer those questions for you because it's really important. I mean, I know you guys can't read my mind. <laughs> Thank the Lord, you can't read my mind. <laughs> and you need these questions answered, especially if you're on this journey with me. So um, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna answer several of these questions. Leave your questions below always. Regardless of if I'm responding right now in this really busy time, I read every single comment and I appreciate so greatly every single comment and all y'all's words of encouragement and everything is just awesome. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into the question portion. If this is the first video that y'all are watching of mine, uh, long story short, I am getting married in four weeks and I did Miss America, I did Amazing Race, a bunch of different random things. And throughout my years, I have learned what it takes to get in shape and lose weight really fast. And I've tried like almost every single diet and exercise program. And that's what I've kind of been going through um, with my followers. I lost like, T over 10 pounds in eight weeks doing something that was not unhealthy was not drastic not crash dieting and so I'm answering questions to do with that I'm on the Weight Watchers program never in a million years would I have thought that either but it's totally working for me I did a version of that training for Miss America and then this this exercise program that I'm doing where I'm walking up an incline treadmill at um, a speed of about 3.3 about six days a week um, at an incline of 15 that's what I do like consistently every single day. And then I have four ab exercises, some minimal arm and leg exercises that I do in phase two. You can watch the first two videos in the um, How to Lose Weight Really Fast series. But I'm gonna get to these questions. So. <laughs> um, so a lot of people ask me, even though I thought I addressed this in my first video, maybe I didn't, and it's important. Do I hold on when I'm doing that incline treadmill? No, I don't hold on. Like if I'm in desperation, and like I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna trip and fall. I'll grab on, kind of like get my bearings together, but then I always try and let go. If you feel like you have to hold on, then go down a notch or two. Even if you can't start at 3.3, probably in the very beginning, I was more at like a 3.1 even, and it was hard for me. If you have to hold on, I'd say take it down a notch before you hold on. Um, and then a lot of people ask like, does that timing that I tell you guys like, I think in phase one, it's about 45, 50 minutes. Then phase two, sometimes I'll up it to like 55. Does that include the warm up and the cool down? Yes, I actually don't really warm up. I go straight into the walking. I feel like because it is just walking, like I don't really need to uh, warm up as much as if I was like sprinting or something. Okay, so many of y'all ask, what do I cook? So I think a lot of people really get caught up on this with diets, like my sister does, for instance. She's always like, but what do I? I'm like, I found this diet, it's working for me, lost all this weight, you gotta do it. And she's like, but what do I, what do I cook? What do I eat for lunch? What, what do I eat? And I'm like, I'm telling you, like go on the Weight Watchers app and you can see things and she's like, but what do you eat? What do you cook? So, so many of you guys ask like, what do I cook? I show a lot of what I cook on my Insta stories and um, in my vlogs and stuff like that, but just basic what I cook, like, um, you know, you gotta find what works for you. If you don't like seafood, don't cook seafood. If you don't like red meat, don't cook red meat. Like, find what you like and then find the low point option. So I do a lot of like salads with a protein on it at night, or I'm trying to do that lately. Shrimp are so low on Weight Watchers. So I saute shrimp with garlic paste, or like minced garlic, Old Bay seasoning, and like salt and pepper, that's it. Saute it, put it on top of a salad, a little tiny bit of cheese, like roasted corn and tomatoes really simple things like that like you can cut out points by not using a dressing i'll get squeezed lemon juice stuff like that i cook a lot of vegetables so you can do shish kebabs you can do i like put my vegetables whatever i'm doing like green beans and cherry tomatoes or like um broccoli and cauliflower put it all in a ziploc baggie whatever i'm doing that day a tiny bit of olive oil because you do have to count olive oil and that's going to take a couple points from you 
Um, shake it all up, put it on a baking sheet. I like to make these really, really simple vegetables and vegetables are zero points as long as they're not starches. So I do a lot of vegetables and like white fish I do a lot of. So I love sea bass and like halibut. Those things are really low point options, just like a couple points. Um, of course, like you have to up that per ounce piece of fish that you're cooking or whatever, but I could go on and on about what I cook. I'm gonna do a full video on that. But, um, you know, for lunch, a lot of people I think get caught up on lunch. I'm, I kinda like snack a lot for lunch. And I keep things like um, turkey deli meat with mustard like in my fridge. And I like to eat things like that. Um, I snack on things like rice cakes and pirate's booty. Those are only two points, both of those little snack options. Um, also, Chick-fil-A has some, <laughs> it's terrible when I'm like, here's how you lose weight real fast, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so Chick-fil-A for like 12 grilled nuggets is like two or three points. You know, there are several options for lunch and dinner that like whether you're cooking or not are, are low point options. So, okay, I'm rambling about what I cook, but like I said, I'm gonna do a full video on that. Okay, I love it when people say, I'm so sorry to ask this, but how much do you weigh? I love it how I gave that person that asked that my country accent. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I had never in my life, I'm 5'1", real, real short. Um, I have a muscular build. Never in my life had I weighed over 114 pounds. Three years ago, I ballooned, which if you weigh this much, like it, weights are different in different people. So don't think I'm being like, you ballooned if you weigh this much. But I got like over 130 pounds. For me, I just, I didn't feel my best. I didn't look my best. It's not all about the way you look. Like I always preach that, but I felt like I was carrying around like a Santa Claus sack of toys all the time. Like all this extra weight, it was really affecting me the way I felt, the, the energy that I had. So I was over 130 pounds. And when I started Weight Watchers, I was like 130 pounds, which is like so hard for me to say because never in my life had I weighed over like 114, 115, and then I totally skipped the 120s, and when I weighed myself to see that number on the scale, it was that was tough, that was tough for me. So, Weight Watchers when I started, that's where I was. Now I'm below 120 again, so I'm, I don't know what I weigh today, maybe 118. I would love to get down to 115 or 112 for my wedding, but don't get caught up on numbers. I'm just answering that question, because for some reason a lot of people want to know that, and they're trying to gauge my weight. I've also been at a very unhealthy weight. I weighed 92 pounds at Miss America. I'm not ever trying to get that low again. So, um, like I said, don't get caught up on the weight, but what's really good too, I have that scale that I have from Vanity Planet that measures, I measure every day my body fat, my muscle mass, my water weight and stuff like that. I'll link that scale below because you have a discount code where you can get it for so cheap, like under $50, and I use that every single day. It's crucial to my weight loss. Um, <laughs> it's like confessions. Confessions of a uh, foodaholic. <laughs> okay, what happens when I mess up? A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I messed up this weekend. What am I gonna do? And that's why I wish that I was responding to every single comment again. I wish I had time. I wish that I could just stay up all night because that's when I would have a time to respond to all your comments. Keep going. Don't stop this diet. This is not a diet like the Whole30 where if you mess it up, it's like start at the beginning. You've messed everything up. This is a diet where it's built in for you to mess up. Cheating is kind of built into Weight Watchers. You can eat chi the Chick-fil-A. You can eat a blizzard if you want to eat a blizzard. Like you can't eat nothing else that day, but you could eat a blizzard. You know, so don't let this diet be one where you use that as an excuse to be like, mm-mm, I'm done. So my advice to you is if you mess up, the next day, have a 30-point day. Not 31, not 32, not 38. Go back to that 30-point day and look at it as a new day. So really don't get discouraged because this diet and exercise plan work. Look at me. Like I was doing all the extreme things like Barry's boot camp and I was doing paleo and I was doing all these things and they just, they never worked for me. I mean, Whole30 worked for me health wise and I did lose weight, but it didn't work for me long term with my lifestyle. Stick with it. And like, I just wish that I could be a cheerleader every morning being like, do you know how much better I feel now? Like, do you know how much more energy I have? And like, I feel like a different person. I want you to feel like a different person too. So that's why I like harp on this. Not because I'm trying to be like Bob Harper. Even though I do like Bob Harper, he seems like a, the nicest man. Okay, when I exercise, do I add points? Like, do I give myself extra points? No, 
and I actually don't track my exercise. So I'm gonna answer this question. I should, I'll just wait to answer this question. But no, I don't add extra points. Then another question was, do you use your weekly points? Okay, almost every single weekend on Weight Watchers, I mess up. I'd say actually at least three or four days a week, I mess up. Whether it's going five points over or whether it's going 60 points over, I do mess up. Um, so I count those weekly points in to my weekend mess ups. So yes, I go over almost every weekend because I'm also in a time like where it's wedding time and I have showers and I have all these fun celebrations, I have tastings and stuff. And that's why I think like what an awesome diet to do during a time in your life like this, like during a holiday season or a wedding season because you have to enjoy your life. That's why I'm gonna tell you number one, you have to enjoy being on this earth first and foremost. And if you're not enjoying being on this earth, it ain't worth it. Like it just, don't even go on a diet because that's what it's all about is enjoying your life so that's why I'm a big uh, proponent of this diet because you know you can enjoy weekends and you can enjoy things like cake tastings a little too much and you can get back on track there have been there have been weekends like after Easter weekend gosh I had like four days in a row where I would mess up and those days like I don't weigh myself like Saturday and Sunday. I'm like, I don't even want to see it. Sometimes on Monday, I'll get on the scale and I'm like, shoot, I've gained two pounds. But that, it always seems to come like right off. So it's not like permanent gain like in a lot of diets. All right. So many people ask me too about the pricing, how I signed up, the version of Weight Watchers that I'm using. So I signed up online on my computer at like theweightwatchers.com and then I logged in on the app. So it gave me an option, I think, to do like six months, three months, whatever. So it was cheaper than a lot of people are like, it's $219, I'm a college student, I can't afford that. I totally get that, I couldn't have done that in college either. So go online to theweightwatchers.com and you can pick, and I think it's around like $15 a month, and I'm telling you it's worth it. Maybe you can do it for a few months and kind of like memorize how many points things are and then you can quit paying for it and like do it on your own if you wanted to, if budget was an option. I don't want, I don't want that to keep people from doing this because I want everybody that wants to lose weight to at least give this a try because it, work so well so I signed up then I only use the app so I don't go to meetings um, all I do is use the app I don't even use the online part or anything like that I think it's awesome if that helps you stay accountable going to meetings and stuff like that but um, for me I just don't have time right now so it doesn't work and I keep myself accountable honestly it sounds weird but like with the people that are watching me and doing this along with me like you guys like if I were to be like eating cake every day and like blow up like a big old balloon tomorrow, y'all would be like, what? We were in this together. <laughs> so um, that's all that I do is use the app every day. And the app is super convenient. You can scan anything with a barcode or like enter in anything if it doesn't have a barcode. So how often do I work out? I try to do six days a week. I take Sunday off. And you can watch those workout videos to see specifically a little bit more about that. So a lot of people too ask like, is there a cheaper alternative or is there something else? Like even if like the $15 is too much for you. So a lot of people have said like, I'm on my fitness pal. That seems to kind of work in a similar way. I've done my fitness pal before and my fitness pal is great, but it's definitely like a different program than Weight Watchers. So, um, you know, my word of advice, if you can do it for a couple months and kind of like memorize the, the points and stuff, or you can do like, actually Kyle does this. So you can actually Google a lot of the points. So if you want to kind of start out Weight Watchers and you didn't want to pay for it, you can always kind of look up the points online, like Google Weight Watchers, Buffalo Wild Wings, Lemon Pepper Wings, or Weight Watchers like um, Salmon and Asparagus. You can typically find the, the value. And then a lot of people ask me too, like, are you doing Points Plus or Smart Points? Or There are all these different versions of Weight Watchers. The version that I do is the version on the app. So I'm pretty sure that it was last November that they switched it over from the Points Plus to the Smart Points. It's more, um, it promotes more healthy eating options. So I think things with sugar changed in points and different things like that, like red meat changed in points. So I'm doing the version that's on the app right now, the Weight Watchers app. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's Smart Points, but don't hold me to that. Okay. A lot of people ask me, so when you cook, do you add in the olive oil? Like I said a while ago, I used to not at the beginning, but now I just try to use a lot less olive oil. I try to use just one tablespoon, which I think is two points. So now I do add that in because 
I feel like that can kind of add up over time. Um, so a lot of people ask me too about alcohol. So I, I, if you guys have watched my channel before, I stopped drinking three years ago. Um, and so that's not something that I have to worry about. Back in the day, there would be no way I could do the Weight Watchers because I'd have used all my points in a day. So I think, you know, if you're a moderate drinker, you can always use your weekly points. So typically, I don't know, I think people get like 25 to 30 weekly points where you can go over. Save those until the weekend and wine's four points, like beer is four points, most beers and stuff like that. So um, try not to go too much over. It would be tough though if you were like a three drink a day kind of person or two drink a night. Like you're going to have to really learn how to get creative and save your points up. Um, so sorry I can't give you more um, more words of advice on that, but I can always look up some things and kind of try and give you guys some ideas on that. But um, I would say, yeah, wait until the weekend if you can, or just have like one drink at night instead of, and also like when you have two or three drinks, then you're like, oh, well, you know what? I can't remember if Cheetos were five points or two points. I just had some Cheetos. <laughs> so that's also another point of if you're, you know, doing the alcohol thing. The inhibitions will go to the wind. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And then someone asked me too, which it's always so funny to me when people are, they, they immediately want to go to, are you sponsored by this? Are you collaborating with them? If I'm collaborating with someone, it's like legally, I have to say at the beginning of the video that I collaborated with them. And I've told you guys before, I don't collaborate with anyone or tell you about any product that I do not love and use, I get offers all the time to be like, will you promote this product? We'll give you this much money. I ain't gonna do that to you because I would so much rather not make as much money and like keep my followers trust than I would like sell myself out to every kind of teeth whitening thing or, you know, out there. I just, even though like there probably are some good teeth whitening things and if I find a good one, I'm gonna show you about it. But I'm not collaborating or sponsored by Weight Watchers zero this is something that i love and i like and i ain't sponsored by the i don't know how i'd even be sponsored by the dang treadmill and incline treadmill workout because that's something that like i made up <laughs> but no i'm not sponsored by any of this stuff this is oh god don't just scare me to <laughs> he just like knocked on the door and it scared the living daylights out of me but anyways so no this is all just stuff that i'm telling you about because it's worked for me tremendously well um, how much weight have I lost? I just addressed that a while ago, but a little over 10 pounds, give or take. And, um, yeah, so that was the majority of the questions that I had that I've written down. And a lot of you guys, like, I see in the comments a lot, um, a lot of people are like, I just need to, like, make myself do it. I need to stop feeling sorry for myself and just, just do it. Like, thank you for inspiring me and motivating me. What I want to say is, like, there have been times in my life where I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning, and there have been times in my life that I did not, like, feel the joy and excitement and, like, love of life that I do every day now, and there are different things that you can do to improve your life. And I'm not trying to say, like, you need to lose weight and that's going to make you feel joy. For me, I didn't feel my best, and that was something that I could change. So I just think that the positivity like on the other side of these things outweighs that, oh, I don't want to get up and do this or I don't want to, like, I just encourage you to, if you're thinking about it and going back and forth and just watching YouTube video after YouTube video after YouTube video of like, how do I do this the easy way? Just try this and I really think that you'll feel like a different person and you'll lose weight quickly and a lot of times for us instant gratification kind of people. It takes seeing results to be like, oh, and it takes feeling better to be like, oh, I want to stay on this. So I just encourage you, if you're hemming and hawing, like I hate exercising and dieting. And I did it, and it was the best thing. It was just the best thing. So thank you guys so much for following this fitness content and, and this exercise and uh, weight loss content so closely. Um, like I said, I'm like in the same boat with you. This doesn't come easy to me, but this is the easiest way that I've found and leave your questions below 
after this wedding, I'm gonna respond to every single one of these comments that you guys are leaving. And I hope that I answered a lot of your questions. If you have any more, leave them below. Maybe I'll do another video or answer some on Insta stories or a live or something. And thank y'all so much for watching my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.